Melissa, a 21-year-old African-American female, 5 feet 2 inches, G1P0, 27 weeks and 3 days gestation, has been diagnosed with preeclampsia. She came in with epigastric pain and says she has been seeing spots and having frequent headaches for the past three days. She has no history of hypertension. She does have a history of acute asthma and moderate obesity, a BMI of 36.2. She has pitting edema of the feet and ankles and has been feeling nauseous. Her vitals were taken in the labs at, as followed. At eight o'clock, physical assessment and labs revealed the following. The client is still reporting a headache, but the epigastric pain has slightly decreased. While the client is resting in a lateral position on the left side, the vital signs are blood pressure 146 over 94, pulse 75, respiration 18. The baseline fetal heart rate is 140 with moderate variability and no decelerations. Since completion of a reactive non-stress test, no further accelerations have occurred. Urinalysis indicates proteinuria with an albumin level of plus three. She also reports a weight gain of six pounds within the last week, and her current weight is at 198 pounds with a BMI of 36.2, placing her in a category of class one obesity. Since her blood pressure is still high, the nurse has alerted the physician and will follow orders as well as provide patient education. The dad is not involved, so the sister comes to her appointments for support. I'm the RN. I'm the patient. And I'm the patient's sister. Look up. Hello, my name is Megan. I'm your nurse today. Uh, can you please state your name and date of birth? Uh, Melissa Smith, 418-1992. Okay, that matches. Okay, um, so the doctor is going to discharge you today. So before that, we'll be going over your labs and at home management and things to watch or when to call the physician, okay? okay. So um, you came in yesterday with stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, swelling of ankles, seeing spots and headaches. Mm -hmm. Do you feel any of that today? Um, no, I actually feel better you today. You feel better today? Uh -huh. No head, uh, are you, you don't have a headache? No, no. No headache? Okay. It's going down, it's gotten better. Oh. Um, so, my doctor says that I have preeclampsia. Uh, can you clarify what that is? So, preeclampsia means that you have developed high blood pressure after 20 weeks of pregnancy. Basically, the food in your body becomes more pressurized as the baby grows, mm -hmm. causing you to have a higher blood pressure, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna take your blood pressure right now. Okay. Okay. So your blood pressure is 136 over 88. Okay, so it has gone down since yesterday. Oh, good. Since um, yesterday, it was 146 over 90. Okay. When does my sister need to report to the doctor that her blood pressure is too high? I'm very concerned about her and her baby. Okay, so um, she will need to report her blood pressure if it is greater than 160 over 110, okay? Also, if she is having, having any signs and symptoms of preeclampsia, which are stomach pains, frequent headaches, seeing spots, swelling of the hands, feet, or gaining more than five pounds in a week. Okay, so I'll make sure to take my blood pressure um, at least three times a day to yeah. monitor that. Okay, and next I'm going to go over labs with you, okay? okay. So your hemoglobin is 14.2, which is normal. Your hematocrit is 42.5, which is normal. And um, platelets, um, 120,000, normal. And then there is some protein in your urine, but it is less than it was. Oh, good. Okay, okay so it is, good. It is yeah, better. and I think my, my swelling also has went down some since yesterday. Okay, yeah. okay I'm going to go ahead and check that. Okay, let me see. Yes, it, uh, it has, um, it is going down. Good, okay. Let me see that now. Okay. Um, 
So I want to make sure that I can keep my blood pressure controlled so that I can have a healthy baby. Um, are there any recommendations that I can use to help me get through this? Because I've never um, had to go through this before. I understand and you are not alone. I will give you this plant pamphlet about preeclampsia. You can also attend any local support groups in Fresno and of course your family and friends can be of support. Okay. The doctor wants you on bed rest with minimal activity for the remainder of your pregnancy. Okay. Also limit the amount of protein and calories you intake. So um, to keep your blood pressure lower. Okay. Okay, because nutrition and diet is a big part of why you would have um, high blood pressure. Okay. Um, so um, stay low sodium diet. And then also try to drink eight to 10 glasses of water per day to prevent any fluid imbalances. Okay. 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 So does elevating her feet in bed help with the swelling? Yes. So um, she can elevate her feet. She can also use um, some compression socks to help the fluid stay towards her body and her, um, also to help the blood circulate better. Okay. And then also to make sure that you lay on your left side because okay. that helps um, with circulation of the blood and like have uh, help with oxygen going to the baby. Okay. 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 Do you have any other questions for me? Um, no, I don't, but I do, I did, um, I know you said that if my blood pressure is high, then my sister, we will call the physician. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Thank you for helping me and being so supportive um, and answering all of my questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. Um, I'm doing okay, a little better. Okay, so um, you're feeling better than you were on our last checkup? Yes, um, I just, um, I know the last checkup that I had, I, uh, the doctor diagnosed me with preeclampsia and I, um, I'm still having a hard time kind of coping with things and the papers, all the information that you gave me was with the resources, I actually misplaced them. So I was hoping that you could um, give them to me again and then I will write them down um, because my sister has been, um, you know, of help for me as far as getting through it. But um, I was just looking for extra support. Okay, all right, I'll go ahead and show those to you right now. All right, so okay. here they are. So here's, um, so I'll show you the first one is the Colonial Health Care. And that one um, just gives more, it like states the facts of what your diagnosis is, preeclampsia and um, the causes and symptoms and just everything. Um, and then this is another, another website you can go to and look over like signs and symptoms, like different tests that we might have and then um, support. So like different stories from different mothers who deal with things like this. And then on this last one we have, it's from St. Agnes, and this is actually a support group. So they hold Zoom meetings on Mondays. So um, you can, uh, Mondays around 10 a.m. So that'd be a good one for you. 10 a.m. Okay. And you said those are through Zoom? Yes, this one's through Zoom. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Any other and questions? That was all. I think I so I have that. No, no other questions. I've been monitoring my blood pressure um, as directed and also taking my daily weights. Um, Great. And yeah, so I've been recording things, um, writing everything down for my next visit. So yeah, everything's been pretty stable. Okay, perfect. Well, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day, okay? Thank you. You too. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.